It's a sad prospect, but a reality that all lions need to face towards the end of their lives. If he's lucky, he will have a dignified send-off, walking away alone to rest in peace. If he's not, he will face a bloody battle with the three young brothers. But the brothers have others that are keeping them distracted. The three sisters have worked out the winning formula to free food. And now they have an extra card to play. One of the lionesses is an estrus. She's only at the beginning and not ready to mate yet. But the change in hormones produces a scent that the males find inviting. The lioness is careful of the sudden attention and tries to keep the male at a distance. At the same time, she's hungry and wants to get close to the kill. But the other brother is not happy about this. The males seem to have mixed reactions to her altered state. This one finds her a threat, while the other one can't keep his eyes off her. A hyena arrives on the scene, but she doesn't stay long. There are too many lions around. Each brother protects his own prize. One the lioness, the other the kill. The hyena goes past unnoticed. Between the lions and the leopards, she's sure to find another kill. With patience and a great sense of smell, she patrols their territories from corner to corner. A leopard's skill is to kill swiftly and feed quietly to avoid attracting such scavengers. Ntombi has killed again. She returns to the tree where she stashed a Dacre carcass. First, she checks that she hasn't been followed. The kill is still intact and far from the reaches of scavengers. And yet Ntombi is nervous. She keeps looking to make sure she is alone. But for reasons only known to her, she's not convinced that this is the best place to settle to eat. she settles to feed. The cats of Timbavati hunt and kill day and night. Some, like Ntombi, kill often 